Patrick Hicks here with another Craig Tech Tip. I've got with me today a 210G deer excavator outfitted with a complete Craig excavator package. And today we're going to be looking over the uh, excavator package as well as going over how it works. Now today we've got a uh, EXCUT, which is our utility thumb, an HD dig bucket, and a manual wedge lock coupler. Now this is what we refer to as a direct link thumb meaning that it rotates about the stick pin on the, on the excavator and has the cylinder directly attached onto the thumb. Now this differs from our progressive link style of thumb, which incorporates another set of linkage into this area here where the cylinder would then drive the linkage. Now the direct link thumb will give you upwards of 120 degrees of rotation, whereas your progressive link style with the additional linkage incorporated into it will give you upwards of 160 to 170 degrees of rotation. So here we've got our thumb tucked up into a carry position, which is where it'll be when not in use. And you can see here that you can do full use of your bucket with your thumb still on the machine. Now this particular thumb is meant to work with this bucket, meaning that the thumb tines will mesh between the bucket teeth and allow you to pick up smaller objects like trees and, and smaller stones. Now when the thumb is in use, and it is, it's down meshing against the bucket, clamping onto a large object, and the bucket is curling hard against the thumb. The thumb cylinder itself is, is set to a lower pressure, 2500 PSI, so that it will give way and relieve itself before anything mechanical breaks on the entire setup. Now this is what we call a manual wedge lock coupler. Now this, this coupler system allows for quick interchangeability between your different attachments with, uh, with this wedge bar here. Now this is, uh, this is held on with two bolts and is then locked in place with this locking, pin, locking plate to keep the uh, bolts from turning out during usage. We also offer a hydraulic wedge lock and a convertible wedge lock. Now the hydraulic operates the wedge hydraulically and the convertible operates the wedge manually, but allows you the flexibility of going to a hydraulic operated wedge with a conversion kit supplied by Craig. Now we're going to have a look at attaching and detaching your attachment from your uh, manual wedge lock coupler. Now to do this, fairly simple process. It starts with removing a linchpin, removing this, uh, this locking bar, which keeps the bolts from turning. Now I'll then back, back both bolts out. and the wedge should now be free to disengage. And because this is new, it's probably going to take a few, few hits with a hammer to be able to disengage it. And now we're free to remove the coupler from the attachment. For attaching a bucket onto our manual wedge coupler, we're first going to put the wedge bar in and then put the bolts in and tighten the bolts up. Now the, the nut, both nuts for the bolts are kept in uh, on the coupler itself. Uh, there's a couple of keepers welded on here, so you'll never have to have uh, the nut come off with the bolt. Now when I go to put the wedge bar in, I'm going to notice that it's not going to uh, it's not going to engage all the way. Now this is intentional because as as your attachments and your coupler wear over time, this will keep 
a tight fit for your attachment throughout its entire life. Now for attaching your, your bolts on and off, we do provide a wrench, uh, a cut wrench with the kits. But you'll find that uh, you'll probably have to stagger tightening one and then tightening the other. This kind of forces the fit on from side to side and ensures that your wedge bar is tight from side to side. Now the last step is to put this locking plate on. Now you just want to make sure that your, your two bolts are square with the pattern cut into the locking plate and then the plate should slide on and attaches with a linch pin. So once that's on, your bolts shouldn't back out and now you're ready to go and use your bucket.